welcome to Alum House Sound. My name is Dave, and today we're going to talk about the X-Air 18 uh, console. This is a small platform uh, rack-mountable or portable digital console put out by Behringer. Now, they have a few different models uh, with different various levels of inputs, 18, I think a 16, 12, something like that. Check out their website if you want to find more out about that. But today, we had a question come in about the X-Air 18. Specifically, I did a video a while back that I'll post up here and in the description about how to set up your USB outputs if you wanted to both live stream and multi-track record. Live streaming typically runs out across USB 1 and 2. That's what most live streaming platforms will receive the signal on. So if you're on vMix or OBS, something like that, at a very base level, uh, those devices or those streaming devices will receive your USB signal across USB 1 and 2. So you have to route your live stream across USB 1 and 2, and then your multi-track recording can expand from there with the remainder of uh, outputs that you have. So in the XR18, there are 18 outputs. We've got the ability to send live stream to 1 and 2, and then from there, you've got 16 additional uh, opportunities to record into, say, a DAW or digital audio workstation to do some multi-track recording. So let's dive into the X-Air software. Uh, we'll do that, and then we'll come back here and meet you at the end. So here we're in the X-Air 18 control software. You see I've got a basic setup here with some uh, inputs on the left-hand side and some mixes on the right. If I come over to the right-hand side and call your attention here to the red buses, you'll see stream left and stream right. This pair is linked and that's where I'm gonna build my live stream. If I click on that, that gives me the ability to use these faders now to adjust the amount of input going into that live stream. With that being said, we wanna use live stream mix bus five and six as our outputs. Now, we're gonna be sending this into a computer across USB. We also want to multi-track record as much as possible. So let's see how we can do that. We'll go to the top right and go to in out. And the way this is set up, as a quick overview, you have inputs, your analog inputs that are the physical connections on the front of the board. You also have your USB returns. If you happen to be sending any audio from the computer across USB, you could do that here. This is also where you would set up your, uh, your virtual sound check settings, if that was helpful to you. But the next one we want to focus on is the USB sends. This is where we're going to set up our, uh, our outputs, leaving the XR18 across USB and going into your computer. Now, most streaming devices are going to see USB 1 and 2. So we need to set USB 1 and 2 to be linked with or sourced by our live stream mix. So what I do is find USB 1 and I come way over to the right because bus 5 is our live stream left and then bus 6 is our live stream right. Now, these are red right now. And if you see down in the bottom left, you'll see that those are listed as analog. And what I want to do is set these to be post fader. So if I uh, right click on these, I can choose post fader for each one of these. And that way my fader will determine the final output volume that leaves my console. Also, if I have any effects that are inserted, those can also be captured. Like if I've got a limiter or a compressor inserted in the channel strip, then that would be uh, engaged as well. Now, after that, the rest of these are gonna stay the same. So you do have channel three, four, five, six, all the way through. Now, when we get down here, we have auxiliary left and right being tracked. And if you're using those, then that's great. But for most of us, what we're gonna do is be able to capture 16, uh, 16 channel input in our live stream. So what we wanna do is take our left and right here from auxiliary in and actually scoot these back over here to be inputs one and two. That way we have 16 inputs that we can capture across multi-track recording as well as channels uh, USB one and two up here are taking our live stream. Now, if you wanna record your live stream, then in your DAW, you can capture all 18 of your card inputs, 
you know, the, the sounds coming across USB. You can capture 18 of those. That would give you one and two would be for your live stream mix that you could record into your DAW. And then the remainder of them would be uh, set up for your inputs, your physical inputs coming in the front of the console. You've got two options though. If we look at this uh, in our DAW, we would have to set up again, channel 17 and 18 actually interact with channels one and two on our console. If you wanted to set this up a little bit different, you could just come in here and start with channel one being USB three, and you could just click these all the way down here, and that would set it up so that all of your uh, channels are, again, in an order uh, as they are on the console, but they're off by two inputs. For me, I don't particularly like to do that because I don't wanna to have to make all of those changes inside my DAW. For me, it's easier to go with just setting one and two down here, changing those two, and then the remainder of them I would keep as a one-to-one -one order of channel three is channel three, four is four, so on and so forth. So this is how I would be doing it right here if this was my console, uh, but you do have options. All right, well, if you're on this platform, I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, obviously, this is an educational opportunity for anybody, but uh, do check that description if you've got an X32 or an M32 console. You can find out the specifics of how to do this on that console at that other video. Hey, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe for future videos that come out. And if you've got questions, feel free to leave those questions in the comment section below. We may end up making a video out of it just like this one. Uh, if you want one-on-one -on -one help with your setup or uh, just to shoot some emails back and forth with some questions, you can reach me uh, by using the contact card on my website. That's down in the description as well. Fill out the contact card. We can start a conversation outside of YouTube. But that's it for right now. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.